Hello y'all, welcome back to my channel. Is Kelsey, Kels, Kess, Kessie, Kels, Kelsey, Kess, 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 Kels. It's me. I definitely recorded an intro already, but I don't remember what I said because it was two months ago plus. I got the DNA test back and then it took me another whole month to finally film this. <laughs> Oops, my bad. But just before we get into that intro, I just want to, I don't even remember what I was gonna do, so maybe I should just let you back to the other intro. Today I am going to be DNA testing my cats. Yeah. <laughs> According to the website, Basepaws is the world's first at-home cat DNA test. I am personally interested in doing base paws for my kitten just because she does have a few breathing issues. I think it could be more so breed related than it is environmental issues. I think that she might be mixed with, I'm so stupid, the cats that have louder breathing. I'm crazy! I'm a crazy cat lady and I want to know what my baby's makeup is. Upon opening the box, I am provided with a swab thingy and a bag. On the bottom of the box, it does give instructions for how to use everything. You are supposed to collect the sample, remove cap, invert cap, shake tube 10 times. Seal it in the bag, place it in the box, seal the box, ship the box. So after everything is activated, we can go ahead and do the swabby swab part, which is going to be super fun. That sounds like it's gonna be really hard to do with a cat. <laughs> Come here, we got to test your DNA, yay, yeah, yay. Yeah. Your DNA, your DNA. Inside your mouth. Ew, it's dirty in there. One, two, three, four, five. I have a shooky, shooky, shooky this thing many a times. It wasn't as horrible as I thought it would be. She did kind of chew on it a little bit, but I'm assuming like saliva is saliva. Cotton thing is kind of collecting all of the juice. I don't understand how I'm supposed to make this box though. That's gonna be interesting. Super easy. Liar! I'm going to go send this bad boy out and let you know the results. Six to nine weeks. Like I thought two weeks max. Six to nine weeks from when they received the sample. Oh, that's crazy. There can't be that many people doing this, right? Who knows what I'm gonna even look like in that amount of time. I guess that I will see you in six to nine weeks. <laughs> uh, I need you to turn on, is that okay? I need you to be a star. Are you ready to be the star? Chicken? You're a star. <coughs> Hello, friends and family. I am back with the DNA test results. Do, do, do. I am not the father. <laughs> A little bit about the timeline of the DNA test and how long it took. I activated the test on December 30th. They received it January 4th. They processed it January 18th. They sequenced it on January 23rd, and then it was ready by February 26th. So it took about a month for it to finally be sequenced, and then when it was being sequenced, it took another month for them to finally get the DNA test to me. All in all, it took a little bit under two months, and it was still under the six to nine weeks that they said it would be ready by. All right, so taking a look at my profile, I have baby Francis's little profile there, her little pic, stunting on everyone. She is nine months. 
But then if you scroll down, you can see your report. So if you tap on that, it has her whole entire genetic report on it. Based on the information they tell you, there is a poly cat, which is most cats, which is a mixed mutt breed. And that is what most cats are. A purebred cat is not something that has been around for very long. They are just now, according to the information they gave me, starting to breed cats to be pure. And so they can't test every breed yet because they don't have a pure breed of every breed. So there is a fair chunk of her genetic DNA that is still in the poly cat category that will be updated when they get new cat categories. Right now she is 29.97% poly cat still, so that is still kind of the unknown mixed mutt of it all. She is 41.79% Western. <gasps> It's pretty much like if I were to get a DNA test back for myself and I were to say that I was like English or Swedish or German or Scottish or Irish or Danish or Finnish or that's all I got. Since we are on the Western Hemisphere, it is kind of obvious that she would be mostly a Western cat. 11.17% Eastern, 5.99% Exotic and 11.08% Persian. And then it also tells you what wild cats your cat is most similar to. So it gives you a breakdown of each of the breed groups, a little color coordination, we love to see it. So then it gives you a breed list, which is each of the categories of breeds under the breed group and where your cat ranks amongst those. So for her most prominent breed, Western, she is Norwegian Forest Cat, Ragdoll, Maine Coon, American Short Hair, Siberian, Russian Blue, and Abyssinian. Abyssinian. Eastern, she's Oriental Short Hair, Peterbald, Burman, Burmese. Exotic, it is Egyptian Mao, Savannah, Bengal. And then Persian, it is Persian. British short hair, Himalayan, and exotic short hair. As I talk, I am going to go ahead and put the information up on the screen just because I don't think you wanna hear me read it all out because I don't think it's that important to you, but I also wanna show you what kind of information the base pause test shows you, such as the breed origins, genetic disposition, and their personality. This is a good girl. So going into this, I did want to see if she had one of the flat-faced breeds in her. I'm so stupid. And she does the Persian. Do you have a flat face? Huh? Do you have a flat face? It is something to ease my mind that she has the Persian in her so that I can stop panicking thinking she can't breathe when she seems perfectly fine in all other aspects. Next is the most important part of the entire DNA test, I think, and it is the health markers. I really was interested in seeing this just because they can test for anything that is predisposed to them and luckily she was clear for all of it. Oh my god, I can't say any of these. I'm gonna stop trying, okay? I'm just gonna scroll and let you see what they test for because I'm too stupid and I can't do it. <laughs> and the last thing that the test shows is the appendix. So it is the list of all of the supported cat breeds that they talk about. So it just goes in depth about the personalities and like the different um, genetic predispositions that each cat has. Overall, I would say that I personally enjoyed doing the cat DNA test from Base Paws, and I think that this was just a good way for me to get DNA testing off my chest because I really have wanted to do it for a while, but not necessarily on myself. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this video and you want to see more videos, then subscribe down below. If you would like to follow my Instagram or my Twitter, then they will be on the screen. And I just want to say stay in and stay safe if you are able to. And you know, social distancing, everything that everyone keeps saying, just practice it. You are a star and every single human loves you. Every human loves you. Yes, I do, baby. Yes, I